Hello there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add animation to desk characters inside of Unreal Engine. So we're going to clear third person. Call it third does to Unreal Engine 5. Now, the first thing to do is go to plugins, does, you have to enable this, and then you have to restart, to restart. Now the first method we're going to use is the targeting animations. Our purpose here is to uh, use the does uh, character as a third person. Uh, so we're gonna detarget all the Unreal uh, standard animations into the desk character. All right. So the second thing we do is we're gonna go to project settings, go way down to desk to Unreal settings here. You can keep this as is. Uh, you can show dialog box here so you can see more options when you download but uh, for now we don't need it this is when because that's when it transfers to unity to sorry to unreal to do this automatically like you see files at the progress bar in DAS, then another progress bar when you uh, when you focus on unity application but this will stop the process and you can like tweak settings uh, the most important thing now is to like fix uh, select this fix bone rotation on import and zero rotation on import this one will basically fix the character so it can work with the uh, IK retargeting uh, in Unreal when you want to use the DAS animations what I've noticed is you have you can keep this but remove this we'll get back to this now all we have to do is go to does make sure you select the character here then send to you can we already installed the plugin you can show fbx if you want now we're gonna select the uh, you can rename it as you like then skeletal mesh this is the one you can select between animations later on we'll show you how and if it's an environment for now we're gonna keep it with this and accept it will take it will take a bit oh, one second dialog scheme keep it as is all right so to know if the unreal uh, the das to unreal uh, plugin is working you will go you will check that it will automatically complete here then con control spacebar will open the content drawer. You can see that there's DAS female. Uh, so when you transfer, you can see these uh, issues. Just forget them for now. Then pick up this here. So here's the character. What we the first thing we have to do is go to skeleton, and this little gear here, show targeting option. This is very important can see this is all skeleton they have to be all skeleton here those are skeleton for now for some reason but in the past you can see animations we don't want that so if it's uh, the only thing that has to be animation is the root and the hip has to be animated skills if you don't all you have to do is like select this animation then select the carefully set the targeting this would say make them all skeleton then put this back so you don't have to do it one by one it's just a shortcut then save it this is very important make sure this is correct for some reason this is working now maybe this is because of uh, the ancient 5.1.1 but the other the, you can see for example here you can see animations and stuff you don't want all these to be skeleton we're gonna go to content drawer character mannequins animations then choose squint because we this is the female this is the male you can choose this there's an option here called the target animation duplicate and the target animation blueprint so here we're gonna select the targeter 
we're gonna choose this one it's, if for any reason you don't see this you have to like enable let me show you go to settings and show engine content and show plugin content for some reason those will make it allow the, the, the our targeter to uh, to show up here if it's not showing i had this uh, problem you see all those glitches all those things you, it may seem easy now when i show it to you but in, for example you follow a tutorial it doesn't tell you this you try to find this you don't find it it does tell you about the skeleton don't, i'm not saying this is the best tutorial but this is the one that worked for me the latest version of Unreal engine i'm gonna choose changes 8 female mesh give it a prefix so you can find it easily later on you can see why change this to does make a new folder it's better like this animation so it can uh, export the animations to a new folder you can see so you can know it, you can see that this difference in uh, this is standing sideways so this is because of the options we selected and project settings the one down down here and because of these two now if you wanna keep uh, using the uh, the DAS animations you have to import character without those two settings and this will be straight like this just to be on the same page now we press the target as you can see now the new animations are here you can play put this I think we just selected many by mistake it's alright oh, no, here's Quinn here's Quinn let's see Yeah, you see it's it's idling here let's see now we're gonna go to the third person we already did and then change the skeletal mesh to female as you can see and and in class we have to that's why we wrote DAS before, so it's easier to find. Ha! Huh. So you see, it automatically fixes position. Now just compile, save, go to the third person. Hopefully now she's gonna be in the game. All right, you see, it's working perfectly. whole thing is working it's not that hard this if you can see the head and spine is a little bit tilted we're gonna fix this in later videos you see when it went out it fixed there's a fix for that but for now it's working so this is as for the targeting just to recap the targeting is allowing the does character skeleton to use the on the engine type of animations for the U UE5 skeleton if you want to use DAS animations there's another way to do it and I'll show it to you in the uh, next video stay tuned please uh, subscribe and like and comment thanks a lot